Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about another topic that I really, really like, which is 3D printing and cosplay. If you're unfamiliar with cosplay, it's simply a combination of two words, costume and play. It's dressing up as your favorite character, recreating scenes from movies and shows that that character would have been in, taking photos of it, going to conventions. It's just a whole lot of fun. One thing that has become increasingly simple with 3D printers becoming more easily accessible is creating little knickknacks or props for cosplay. In order to create an outfit for cosplay, you have to be able to sew or you have to be able to create something out of like foam, styrofoam, stuff like that in order to create armor or like ball gown, you know, really nice looking outfits. A lot of these outfits have embellishments and different accessories that sometimes are a little bit difficult to make when you're having to sit there and carve it out of a block of styrofoam. So 3D printers have made it really easy for people to design stuff and 3D print it for the outfit. So this is a fleur-de-lis that I designed using a pre-made design on Tinkercad. This will be part of a crown. I probably would not have been able to make this out of foam. This is very complex and I'm just not really good at carving this kind of stuff yet, but because of a 3D printer, I was able to make it very simply. As I mentioned, another thing that you can use 3D printers for is to create different types of props. So props could be a weapon, like a bow or a sword or a gun that a character uses in the game. If it's like Halo or Star Wars or even Lord of the Rings, you can also create stuff like wands and staffs. Some people even go so far as to create different armor pieces. If they are like really complicated and complex, you can 3D print them and it just makes it easier for you to create. Some people have gone as far as to create 3D printable Iron Man suits. Instead of having to create the whole thing out of foam, they just 3D print it instead. They make sure they measure it to their correct size and then they just print it on the printer. After that, they assemble it, sand it, paint it, do whatever they want to it, and then they can put it on and wear it. One way that cosplayers have 3D printed stuff that would be fairly difficult to design is that they use different softwares and they rip the 3D files from the video games. This is a staff from World of Warcraft and I have been trying to make one of my own so I need the little accessories because I cannot figure out how to make them out of foam so I'm going to rip them and 3D print them and then figure out how to attach them to the staff later. It makes it easier. This is as of right now considered legal. None of the gaming companies have really stomped down on cosplayers doing this as long as you don't sell the file and you don't claim it as your own. They honestly don't care if you're just ripping it and using it for yourself. But what you can do with these files is that you can take it and you put it into a program like Blender or Autodesk and you can clean it up however you need to. Sometimes they have little extra bits that you don't need or it won't print well with it or you want to be able to make it where you can turn it into a flat file which would be using something called Pepecura where you can take a 3D file and you can flatten it down into a 2D pattern that you can then trace on foam or even on fabric and later assemble it in those materials instead of having it 3D printed. If you're interested in learning more about the Blender and Pepecura method, I would recommend Svetlana and Benny's videos from Kamui Cosplay. They do a whole tutorial on how to use Blender and how to create simplified shapes out of really complex shapes so that you can flatten them and then make them into foam armor. So while you may not be making the prop out of foam, when you 3D print something, you still need to assemble it. It's not gonna 3D print all in one giant piece because if you have a smaller printer, it's going to make it into smaller pieces. If you have a bigger printer, it'll make it into bigger pieces, but very few people have a printer large enough to make a five foot sword. I know for a lot of people who use 3D printed props, the time put into making your 3D printed prop is going to take less than it would to make a foam prop, but it'll still take quite a while because you do have to assemble it, make sure it's sturdy, glue the whole thing together, and then sand it, prime it, paint it, seal it, all of this different kind of stuff. So it's still a labor of love, but if you're not that good at making really sharp looking edges and making really straight edges and stuff like that for different types of props, then probably 3D printing it would be the best bet. So one of the things that has kind of come out with this whole 3D printer and cosplay communities merging is that you have a lot of cosplayers who started out in different fields or maybe whatever they learned in college where they actually learned how to 3D design. And now that they've become cosplayers, they have taken the 3D printer elements or the 3D design elements that they learned in college or at their job and they're applying them to cosplay in such a way where they have now been able to become full-time cosplayers, 3D designing different pieces. Some of the ones I would recommend if you're interested in learning more about this would be Svetlana and Benny from Kamui Cosplay. 
I mentioned them earlier, they do YouTube tutorials as well as books that you can purchase that explain more about this, as well as Willow Creative 13. She is on Instagram and Etsy. She does little tutorials as well as compare and contrast for different types of printers. If you are interested in that, I would recommend checking them out. As always, be sure to check with your local library to see if they have anything on 3D printing in their library system, just to kind of figure out the basics. Most books are not going to be talking about 3D printers and cosplays as of right now. The only one that I know of would be the one that's Svetlana and Benny recently published, and I believe it's available on Amazon and Amazon Kindle. But other than that, I hope this is just kind of an interesting little fun look into the ways that you can implement 3D printing into different activities and hobbies. I will see you all next time. Bye!